Okay, welcome back. So in the previous episode, we kind of had to uh, roll back to an autosave because um, all of our people were basically downed and uh, the one person that wasn't couldn't doctor and was also on a food binge and being annoying. Um, so we're going to hope that everyone will kind of do what they should do this time um and yeah uh what is your what is your uh, food looking like right now oh yeah that might have been why they went on a food binge, was because no one had fed them, and they were super hungry. So let's see if we can try and prevent that from happening this time. Now that we have uh, some hindsight. <sighs> Jeez, okay. That's not as bad. All right, I am going to go up to speed two because uh, this is quite slow. How are you doing? Malnutrition. Eh. You're okay. No, you have not been fed at all, and you, I don't think any of our other people can warden right now, other than Vaughn. Prioritize trying to feed him. I know you're like in super bad pain, but um, that's actually a little scary. Hopefully, oh right, you're still in a daze, so I can't tell you what to do. Because uh, great. Uh, all, all the things. Unfortunately, they're in a daze, so I can't do anything to them. That's why I... Great. <laughs> I'm just waiting for this timber wolf to attack one of my colonists. Oh, everything is terrible. But it wouldn't be RimWorld if it wasn't. And we all know that to be true. <laughs> um, I should probably make this another... Medical bed. Yeah, sorry, Zen. Man, this daze is lasting a long time, and I'm not a fan of it. They ser and Mason seriously needs to get out of this daze. So that uh, we can actually tell them to uh, to sleep or something. Please don't drown yourself in the river. Okay. Um, I would very much appreciate it if you finished these uh, doors. What are you doing? Picking up this thing. Yeah, that's probably important. Yeah, can you please, like, not? You're going to get killed by a timber wolf, and then I'm going to be very annoyed. <laughs> All 
Okay. Um, go ahead and eat. And then I really need you to like clean up all of this stuff. Um, clean up. Yeah, let's clean up the vomit and stuff in this room. And then probably focus on cleaning up the vomit in this room as well. And then probably clean up the blood that's everywhere. <laughs> Oh, come on, I just cleaned that, buddy. I know, I know I keep taking you away from what you want to do, but... Wow, are you still in a daze? Like, seriously. You're gonna get... You're gonna, like, die from starvation or something. Everything is terrible. Uh. <laughs> I know, it's just Rim World. That's. <laughs> this is what happens. Doesn't mean that it's not annoying and frustrating at times. How are you doing, Wilkerson? I don't. Okay, you're fine. Like, I mean, I guess as fine as you really can be. Okay. I saw the colonist on top of the bed, and I thought they died. <laughs> but no. Okay. They're still in a daze, which is really annoying, and I really appreciate it if they would stop. Yes, I'm aware the hunter let, let me get rid of the damn notification. I'm aware they don't have a ranged weapon. I can't do anything about it because they're in a daze. Yes, I know medical treatment is needed, but they're in a daze. I can't I can't do anything about it unless I want to knock them out. Something like another Two of them over here. Guys, pick a bed. Okay, cool, I guess. Um, we should probably put in a bill. Um to make some parkas, probably. Until you have, I don't know, maybe five is probably fine. Parkas are really good for winter. And since I'm not entirely sure how the weather is going to, or what the weather is going to be like, um, I'd rather prepare for the worst. Okay. Uh, can you prioritize cleaning that up? Um, prisoner, we should probably work towards recruiting you now. Now that you're mostly taken care of, health-wise at least. And of course, Everyone has to sleep. A rest. Medical. Oh, come on. What is what is the medical emergency exactly? In fact, ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that that's actually really not good. Um, you. You have no like. medical related stuff yeah this is getting really frustrating 
And of course now it's uh, thundering. Great. <laughs> Where is the fire? Oh. Alright, can you prioritize extinguishing this? Because I don't think it's raining. Is this... Like, I swear I turned off, uh, yeah. So they're just not doing what they should be doing right now, and that's annoying. Where the heck are you going? Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm just getting really frustrated with the pawns and their decision-making sometimes. Because there is... Okay, finally... All right, can you... No, don't strip them. I am very concerned here that they're going to die to this infection. Because their immunity is still... If you look in here, their immunity and their infection are not uh, their infection is higher than their immunity right now and that is not good you you want them to have a higher immunity than their infection um okay uh we are not going to take this because uh we have more pressing matters to deal with right now okay so we need to kind of keep an eye on this. If they manage to get their immunity above the infection, then they'll be fine. But it's looking like that infection is going to beat the immunity. Damn. That is frustrating. It, I don't think there's anything I could have done, unfortunately, because I was dealing with so many other things at the same time. Wilkerson can't doctor, and Vaughn was incapacitated. And this idiot was wandering around in the days for hours, days. That's really unfortunate because that that really hinders us right now well it happens i guess um so let's grab our uh let's grab our first grave uh where do we want to put it it just like over here you want to have it somewhat close to like your main area so i guess just right there is fine that's really unfortunate. Because now we gotta kind of hope that we actually get one of these, get this guy to uh, to join. It's a really good thing that I recorded a lot of these. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um. Oh shoot, no, I didn't want them to be in here. Um. Wow. Don't allow colonist corpse uh, corpses. Well, now there's only two. Oh, for Pete's sake, people. And I thought everything was going well. But that's just Rimworld for you. Unfortunately, that person was also our cook. Which means now we no longer have a cook that can do their job. Really wish they wouldn't do that. Sweep all of the outside. Like, it's dirt. Alright, 
prioritize doing that, please. Take care of Mason. Uh, no, don't consume. What the frick? Um. Uh, don't allow that. Well, hopefully Zin joins us, because otherwise we're kind of screwed. Um, because I'm not really sure how else we're going to manage this. Okay, buddy, come on. Can you maybe do something other than clean? I'm gonna set that at a lower priority. Persistence of nine. Medicine, oh, really? No, oh, that's annoying. Okay, guess we I guess it's because we just don't have enough power. Oh, for Pete's sake, dude. Seriously. All right. This this guy is really starting to piss me off. Well, I'm sh Okay. That is their daughter? Oh. Okay, so I think we're going to restart from an autosave in the next part, so uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.